changing percents into fractions. Here are the three forms we will look at. 14%, 2.6%, and 3.5 repeating percent. So three different forms. We've got a whole number, a decimal, and a repeating decimal. So these are the three different forms that we'll look at. First, we need to know what percent means. Well, per means out of or divided by. And cent is from an old Roman word meaning century, which means 100. So percent means divided by 100. Or we can think of it as multiplied by 1 over 100. So that's when we translate the percent part, we're going to be using multiplied by 1 over 100. Let's start by changing the 14% into fraction notation. This one's too easy. Think of the 14 as a fraction. 14 over 1. Now we're going to apply the percent sign, so we're going to multiply by 1 over 100. And that gives us 14 over 100. And then we reduce, and we get 7 over 50. So 14% as a fraction is 7 over 50. Now we'll change the 2.6% into fraction notation. Think of the 2.6 as a mixed number. Well, if we say its value out loud, 2 and 6 tenths, that makes it easier to write as a mixed number, 2 and 6 tenths. Now we apply the, now we're going to do write as an improper fraction. So 2 times 10 is 20 plus the 6 makes 26 over 10. So all we've done is turn the 2.6 into 26 over 10. Now we're going to apply the percent, so we're going to multiply by 1 over 100, which gives us 26 over 1,000. And we can reduce, we get 13 over 500. So 2.6% as a fraction is 13 over 500. Finally, Let's change the 3 point, repeating 5 percent, 3.5555555 percent, into fraction notation. The bar over the top means repeating. So we want to think of the 3.55555 as a mixed number. Oh, wait a minute. How do we write 55555 as a fraction? Well, all single repeating decimals are written over 9. So you would say 3 and 5 ninths. Because if you take 5 and divide it by 9, you get 0.5555555 and so on. So if it was a 4 repeating, it would be 4 over 9. If it was a 2 repeating, it would be 2 over 9 and so on. So we write it as 3 and 5 ninths. Now we're going to make it improper. And that's going to give us 32 over 9. And now we're going to multiply by the 1 over 100 because it was a percent. That gives us 32 over 900, and then we reduce all the way down to 8 over 225. So 3.555 repeating percent equals 8 over 225. So we've seen one of each type, a whole number percent, terminating decimal percent, and a repeating decimal percent. Let's do one more of each type just to refresh and lock it in our brains. So 138%. So 138 over 1 times 1 over 100. So we've written it as a fraction. And we're going to multiply by 1 over 100. That's the percent sign. 138 over 100 reduces to 69 over 50. So 138% equals 69 over 50. 
And it's an improper fraction, notice that, because the percentage is greater than 100. 7.8%. So we write it as 7 and 8 tenths, mixed number. Now in this case, I can take the 8 tenths. I didn't do it before, but you can actually reduce the fraction. So that becomes 7 and 4 fifths. I make that improper, multiply by 1 over 100, gives me 39 over 500, and since that can't be reduced, so 7.8 percent is 39 over 500. And finally, 11.33333 percent, so 11 and 3 ninths, now 3 ninths can be reduced, so 11 and 1 third, which gives us 34 over 3 times the 1 over 100 gives us 34 over 300, which reduces to 17 over 150. So 11.3 bar percent over 150. Yes. So in each of these cases, we turned it from whatever we had into an improper fraction or mixed number first and then to an improper fraction. Remembering that, say the value out loud if it's a decimal, if it's a repeating, put it over 9. Then we took that improper fraction and multiplied it by 1 over 100 and reduced as necessary. Again, multiplying by the 1 over 100 is converting it into the percent.